Hey, did you know that there's currently hundreds if not thousands of open webcams and security cameras on the internet? And you can very easily go look at them and find the weird stuff that people are openly sharing. Kind of like Omegle, but a lot of the times people don't know that they're actually on the internet and exposed. That's what I want to talk about today. Now, a few things I want to cover. One, I want to teach you how to find these cameras. And two, I want to teach you how can you make sure that your stuff is not out there without you knowing. And if you like this type of stuff, hacking, cybersecurity, consider subscribing. I'm trying to work on a few videos like how to have your friends phones send you screenshots and pictures of themselves every couple seconds, possibly without them knowing. But that's in another video and I hope you guys are into this stuff. But let's get started. If you've watched hacking videos before, you've probably seen these sequences where a hacker will go hop on a computer, tap away, and then he says, bam, I'm in, and there's a whole bunch of cameras and uh, stuff on the screen. It's not that simple, but it is very easy. So let's hop over to my computer and I'll show you how to do that. The website that I wanna show you today is called Shodan.io. Now Shodan is basically a web crawler that goes and scours the internet and brings back websites that are web facing and those web facing applications such as webcams and security cameras are then going and uh, they're in a platform that is searchable, easily searchable. So let's take a look. I've ended up kind of spending a little bit of time searching kind of the fun stuff out there. There's a whole bunch of bloat, unfortunately a whole bunch of pornography. So be very careful with that. So here's the main page of Shodan. There's a whole bunch of options, but the main part is the, the search bar. There's fields and criteria that you can put in there to search for specific terms, and that's what I did, and that's what all of these tabs are. So the first one that I searched was WVC80N, which is a model of a camera. Now, right away we see these kind of weird responses. Um, this one in particular is the one that kind of struck me. It's somebody's living room. And if we go on this site by clicking here, I'd prefer not to only because I don't want that traffic going through. Uh, so Blue Iris is a company that makes NVRs or NVR software. So here we have a bunch of, uh, looks like a casino somewhere in Spain, a uh, factory in Italy, a house, looks like a house or factory in Canada and so on. Uh, lots of stuff here. Uh, typically, Blue Iris is factories and kind of businesses. This is also Blue Iris. This looks like someone's home. We see a living room here. Uh, no idea what that is. Live demo, Octo 22. Uh, seems like it might be something with 3D printing, maybe. Uh, some more stuff, more homes, whatever. Next step is uh, network camera VBM 600, which is another camera. And here we have parking garages in Japan, more Japan. Now, if we just search webcams, this is the one that I found, which is kind of weird. Um, it's in Germany. It's someone's doorbell camera. Uh, if we search webcam has screenshot, we get this one, which is from Russia someone's living room yeah it's someone's living room here's another one from Italy it's someone's uh, dining room with I don't know, a dog bowl and whatnot and then another one in Italy with whatever that is here's another one that I found which is someone's someone's watching TV in Italy with whatever and then you'll notice that some search criteria that you find online will yield no results. And that might be because it's a very old camera or that application or that camera was patched and it's no longer web facing, which is the case with this product, Yaw Cam Webcam Viewer HTTPD. So whatever. The next site that I want to show you is called Insacam. And Instacam is basically a collection of live cameras that somebody went and put together into one website and then you can search it by specific criteria like manufacturer, countries, places, cities, time zones, and whatever. This one is, it's interesting, but it's mostly like outdoor cameras that are out there. Uh, so let's see. Let's go to a random page here. So Japan, Doylestown. Oh, I've been to Doylestown before. 
Russian Federation, Tokyo. Cool, there's a boat, whatever. Um, so now let's talk about how can you uh, check if your information's out there or check if your cameras or any application is on the internet. It's actually very simple. I think a lot of you already know how to do this. Uh, all you need to do is find your public IP address. You can do that by just going on what's my IP uh, or just Google what's my IP and it's gonna come up. You take that IP address, you copy it, and then you go into showdan.io and you type it into the search field. Luckily for me, it's empty, might be different from you. Like I mentioned, if you're interested in these types of videos, I highly recommend that you subscribe. I have a few other videos in the pipeline that I think you'll enjoy. And if you have any recommendations for videos, put them down below. I would love to hear them. Thank you guys for watching and be safe.